everyone, Bruno from RVing TV. Today we're going to take a look at a 2022 Hideout by Keystone RV. This floor plan is a 250BH. So it's a longer bunkhouse floor plan with a large single slide. And it has some really unique features that I think you're going to love. So if you like the video, please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, it does help get us noticed and we're pushing to the 10,000 subscriber mark. So thank you very much if you like the video and you click the subscribe. A special thank you to Bella Vista RV. We are in their showroom after hours. They've given us access to do some filming quietly. So I want to say thank you. Um, they do have the largest showroom in the area f for trailers and that way you can come on a cold day like it is today where we've had a little bit of flurries come take a look at some units be nice air conditioned or heated depending on the weather and be nice and comfortable so thank you very much to bella vista i will post a link in the information section in case you're interested in what they have very great service history as well as a great reputation for looking after customers so back to the hideout this is a 250 bh single slide and i'm going to show you some new surprising things that you probably haven't seen in a travel trailer before but before we start that let's talk a little bit about construction as many of you know that i'm about construction this hideout is a wood frame trailer. It's framed every 16 inches on center. An important question to ask your dealer if you're shopping around. Now that is 16 inches for the wall, the wall studs, 16 inches for the floor joists, and 16 inches on center for the roof truss. That gives it a nice sturdy construction. Let's take a look at some of the features around very large and deep storage compartment. This is a great little feature. Uh, what you're going to notice is a couple of boxes on the end of the storage compartment. That is our solar panel charger because this is equipped with Solar Flex 200, meaning that you already have a solar panel on the roof as well as um, the ability that it's prepped to put an inverter in. So when you buy this trailer, you can ask the dealer to price out the inverter and the install, and that way you will convert, or invert I should say, battery power from 12 volt to 110. And we'll show you a number of outlets during this video that are there. I'll also try to clip in or put in a picture of what the roof looks like so you can see the solar panel as well. Now a great feature, we did do a video on our own unit that we use, but we had to install these. This trailer is prepped for side and backup cameras. So here our marker light is actually the marker light from the Furion Vision S system. And this end piece is a blank right here, but it can actually be removed. You'll see the little separation line there of where the two pieces come together. You can pop that light off, unscrew it, pop this out, take the side camera kit that you can purchase from your dealer, uh, Bella Vista carries them here, slide in the side camera, screw the support back on, and boom, you've got side cameras, both for your driver and your passenger side. That easy, where it took a little more work to put on our fifth wheel. So smart idea by hideout to put them in prepped. Power tongue jack as well as stabilizer jacks front and back. Gas electric water heater is a nice touch. Now something that I haven't seen in a number of years. You know, we normally get the TV outlet to plug in and, and the power plugs and you'll notice this says inverted outlet. But now we actually have the TV mount. So we can take the TV, bring it outside, mount it here, watch TV outside. If you have the inverter, you could be boondocking and watching TV off of that outlet because it's taking power through the inverter. 
Now we have the Lippert Solid Steps, which is really nice. Very solid, very sure for getting in and out. We also have our doggy leash holder right here. And this unit being built for the Ontario market is CSA built. Now there are some additional accessories here in their showroom. They've actually set up and staged the unit like you're out camping, which is a great idea, especially outside their big, big beautiful windows here. Now this unit has an outside kitchen, so you get two burners and a mini fridge to store your cold drinks and there's even a little tiny mini freezer there which uh, if any of you know me or heard me through some of the videos I'd have ice cream sandwiches in there. And they're just showing, Bella Vista's just showing some of the additional accessories you could use to make the camping lifestyle nice and easy. Now as we look up you're going to notice that about 80% of this trailer is covered by awning. It has a nice large power awning, big long LED light strip that covers the entire awning, but you're basically 80% of the trailer is covered. As we swing around out back, we have an outside shower, we have our spare tire, and there is camera backup camera prep as I mentioned earlier so it's ready for that Fusion's Vision S camera to go on nice and easy plug-and-play system your dealer would be happy to put it on but if it's something that you know maybe you buy the trailer don't have the dollars right away to invest in the camera decide you want it down the road to save your marriage and it will save your marriage you can put it on in your driveway very easy to do take a look at our installation video we installed the harder version of the camera where we had to hardwire it this one is a plug-and-play system the hideouts are 30 amp trailers which is going to be more than enough that we need and our dump station is out in the open where it's easy to get to we also have black painted rims instead of the gray or the whites, a little more elegant looking. And then if you've been watching some of my hideout videos, I like to point this out. You're gonna notice that there are splash guards put as well to protect the seals on your slide out. And this is very important because it directs that spray from the tires down here from even hitting the slide out when the slide out is in. So just a nice little feature there. You'll notice big windows. Now we have the lights on, so you don't really see the deep tint inside when the light is shining or the sun shining against it. You'll notice how dark it is, but there are night shades that you can pull down to give you privacy at night. We come around this side. We do have our storage compartment opening here. And let me just show you the controller. So this is the solar panel controller. You will need a phone app. Uh, the app is free. It's called the Victron app. I'll pull it out so you can see here. It's fetching data. Basically it's going to show you what you're um, pulling in and charging to your battery, what you're using in voltage, and then the black box over here should be our inverter prep. You'll notice it's labeled that way. You can set your inverter in and now invert 12 volt power over to 110. A nice little feature, motorhomes have been using inverters forever. Big fifth wheels have, so it's nice to see it in the travel trailer marketplace. And again, as I mentioned, there's the side camera prep on this side. Now, I'm just waiting for that phone app to load. I'm just in an awkward spot as we're doing it. Um, I don't know if the data's turned on my phone quite honestly, so yes, you guys can have a good chuckle over that. Let's take a look inside and we'll go back. I'm gonna set the phone down and we'll go back to it in a little bit. Now, the 250BH, as you can imagine, BH stands for bunkhouse. It's a double over double bunk system. So we have a nice large double bunk on the bottom, double bunk on the top. You'll notice the little black squares at the back are power plugs for both. A window on the top bunk. And what I do like, because this is 
been tried in a few different configurations. Usually the ladders have been made out of wood. This is a steel ladder here, very sturdy to get up and down. They've been thinking about it and how people use it. There's a nice long curtain for privacy here as well. Since we're starting at the back of the unit, let's look at the washroom. Good size washroom, porcelain toilet, sink, some storage below. We've got a mirror and then a good size shower. We have a nice big rectangular shower pan with the full surrounds and skylight above with a power vent to help pull that steam out. Now, as I mentioned, here's an inverted outlet. So that's two outlets so far that we've seen. And I'll point out a few other as we go through. They do a hanging closet here. Now, some competitors would put this as a pantry. They don't need it. They've made it hanging, which is always something that this style of floor plan has suffered from because you have guests and usually nowhere to hang their items. And I'll show you in a little bit why Hideout can get away with that. Now, this is very unique. What they have is a hide-a-bed sofa with a movable table as your dining table. So you can use it for watching TV, you can sit and eat, you can also do something a little more unique. So I'm gonna dip my audio for a second, my microphone, just so I can set the camera down. And I'm gonna show you a neat little feature here. And I'm just going to angle that so you can see what's unique about the layout here is underneath our dinette, we actually have, I'm going to call them tubs, for lack of a better term, is actually storage. So we can pull them out, we can even unlatch them, open them up, and get access to storage. But the reason they are latched, and I'm gonna latch it again, is that you can put storage here, turn this, and now use it as a seat at the dinette, which is really a great idea. And if you wanted, you could probably turn it sideways and use it as an ottoman for when you sit down. Take the table away, flip them sideways, and put your feet up. You might need to get a little cushion because it's a little harder at the side where there's a cushion here, but it's a great way. Um, you can see that they're really thinking. So I'll give you a closer look. And this is what they look like. Okay. So we've reconnected the microphone and let's take a little look. So we have more storage bins down below that can be used for seating as well. This is a nice area because you can remove the table and just use it as a lounging area overall. Now this trailer with the slide offers a nice open space. From a prep and storage standpoint, we have a nice large 12 volt fridge. It's very deep. We're approximately 10 to 11 cubic feet in size. So you have a nice deep uh, freezer. We have good storage space. We even have the shelf that pulls back here. So if you have taller items like milk or orange jug, orange juice jugs, you can use that and shorter ones you can pull the shelf out. And again, this is a 12 volt fridge, so very efficient. The kitchen is really nicely laid out with several drawers and some good storage. We have a double sink for prep, making it nice and easy. Good countertop space. And you'll notice um, inverted outlet as part of that solar flex. Three burner range, and we do have the light up knobs and that also will light up a light inside the oven and we have a glass door on this oven microwave above really nice storage space 
you'll notice that we have deep cupboards and they are lit from inside and I really like the finish of the glass. It just gives it a little more elegant look across the board. Flat screen TV and that TV can be removed and placed outside the unit. More countertop space which is really nice to see. We have a sound bar here as well and storage below. Now this storage is unique in what Hideout has done here um, and I'll show you this in a moment here. So as we open the doors you'll notice that there's two large shelves and they're set up as pull-out drawers. Nice and deep to put lots of storage and there's a tall height that gives you great storage plate space. Plus, there's a plug behind if you need an additional plug inside the cabinet. And that also can be used if you ever wanted to retrofit this area for a fireplace. So just a great little feature overall. As we look around, you'll notice several plugs that are all inverted as part of that solar flex package which is a nice feature if you want to put that inverter in. Now let's take a look at the bedroom. We have a queen bed here. I like the look of the headboard. There's wardrobes on both sides and that shelf across the top for additional storage. We've got good ceiling height so you're not going to feel cramped inside plugs on both sides and then we have windows on both sides for cross ventilation that both open which is a nice feature. Um, now as I mentioned plugs on both sides of the bed and one of them is a solar flex plug in case you have a CPAP machine you can use that to power a CPAP with an inverter and a feature we haven't seen in several years is the laundry chute. You put a basket down in your storage area, drop your laundry down, and you don't have all that, you know, the dirty, musty clothes sitting in your trailer. They're outside in the storage area where you can take them out for laundry or when you get home, do the laundry. There's TV prep in here as well, just in case you want that down the road. Now again, this is a nice wide open layout for family living on those days that are a little cold or rainy outside and it just really you can see from the open space. Now a couple of features to touch on are floors or Dynaspan floors. They have a 25 year warranty and they're a specially treated floor that resists water penetration. So that's something to note. Our speaker I didn't mention earlier is attached via our outside speakers and that way it can be run by Bluetooth as well. I really again are going to touch that I like this storage seat combination because it maximizes your storage and gives you the flexibility of having extra seating. The storage underneath is a great touch they've really been thinking and the hideouts all come with a central vac so cleanup is super easy you're not having to carry brooms and Swiffer mops with you so if you happen to be in the market for a family unit this hideout offers a lot of value at a great price point and offers a lot of features for the money something um, that I've really liked as I mentioned then there's Keystone special features like the solar flex, the blade air, um, the TPO roof, a number of construction features for this price point that are really, really nice. But this 250 layout is a, is a twist on a traditional double bunk layout, adding many features and more storage, which is something customers have asked for in the past. And um, that's always really nice to be able to get those features. So if you like this video, I'm going to say please click the like button and please click the subscribe button as we're trying to push to the 10,000 subscriber mark. If you click the bell below, you'll be notified of new videos as they become available. I'd like to give a special thank you to Bella Vista RV for allowing us use of this trailer and use of their indoor showroom. Uh, so again, if you're in the market, 
go visit Bella Vista. They have this great indoor showroom that if it's cold outside, rainy, you can do a little bit of shopping indoors in climate controlled weather. But very special thank you to you guys, our viewers, for viewing the video. I look forward to seeing you back at the channel. Uh, give us your comments and ideas down below. Thanks and take care.